significantly. All right. Thanks for that, Vivek. And speaking of um, the power sector and Tata Power, earlier last week, we caught up with uh, Praveer Sinha, who's the MD and CEO at Tata Power. Let's listen into what he had to say. Big step was the announcement of Invit, wherein uh, all our renewable businesses, we will be moving to the Invit. And that way, we will also deconsolidate our balance sheet, uh, which we had been wanting to do for quite some time. So that is one big step and it also gives us an opportunity to grow many fold in next few years so that's the first big step that we took the second big step that we have taken is about the merger which the board approved yesterday that uh, some of our entities uh, which were standalone uh, we have merged with tata power uh, especially the solar uh, factory where we produce solar panels and also do the epc uh, we have a very healthy order book of nearly 9,000 crores, so that gets merged into Tata Power. Similarly, the CGPL, which has been a loss-making unit, and uh, while we have done a lot of corrections in reducing the under-recovery, uh, we wanted to merge so that it gets the support of the parent in access to funds for future uh, operations. So I think these are the two big things that have been announced. Uh, of course, the, uh, there has been much better clarity now in terms of our growth uh, vehicles that we would be doing. Uh, we have plans to grow in our renewable business, uh, which uh, we have already uh, articulated earlier. And also we have plans to grow in some of the new business areas like EV, rooftop solar, uh, home automation, ESCO services. Along with this, the distribution business will also grow where we went and took over the Purisa distribution during COVID period. And I think that uh, will be an area where we will be growing. There are more opportunities coming in Odisha and other parts of the country and we'll be participating in that. And of course, our plan for deleveraging uh, by divestment uh, that continues. And uh, even during COVID period, we could conclude and get the money for two of our assets and we continue to pursue that. Meanwhile, uh, let's pull up a Varrock Engineering. Look at the fantastic up move the stock has seen. It's up more than 15%.